now listening to the Stronger Inside Podcast, where we break down all things regarding health, fitness, and wellness to help you improve your mind, body, and environment. And now, your host, Wayne, a.k.a. Workout with Wayne, and Ernest, a.k.a. Mr. 100 Pounds Down. We are back. Once again, like we never left, <laughs> episode 22, 22, deuce, deuce. there we go, moving right along, moving right along, uh, last episode was good, yeah, I think so, think so, yeah, the soul food, I think, I think the people, the people, uh, were res- responded well to it, yeah, yeah, you, you didn't offend nobody, did you, I probably did, <laughs> Don't I be talking did. about my potato salad. Oh man, hey man, it was it was a much needed conversation. I think so. Uh, so we're enjoying this. Like I said, we let the audio podcast on the Spotify, Apple, Google out earlier. Then we're keeping up with these uh, premieres. Um, they're building each time, mm-hmm. so we're getting more and more viewers in the chat together who can watch it together. And then, of course, you can always watch it later. Uh, so let's get into this topic today. We're back on our macronutrients. Back on the macros. So today's macro we're going to talk about is fat. Fat. We, we, all, we all need some. Yeah. We all need some fat. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, that's why we eat fat back, like the last <laughs> episode. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, sheesh. No. Yeah. No, I don't think that's why we eat fat okay, back. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get our chalk chalkboard out again mm-hmm. <laughs> like we did last time mm-hmm. step into the classroom a little bit because yeah we, we need to know what's really going on with our bodies and what we're really putting in our bodies and how our bodies respond if we are going to have a uh, ideal lean healthy physique uh, and just live a long healthy life because that's what this is all about yes sir all right and we want to dispel all the myths we don't want you listening to your co-workers or you know some of these memes and stuff people post on social media and you, right. and you know and they just take you astray from the truth so tell the people tell the people what it, what is fat so we're going to get back into the molecular level of things again fat is basically going to be carbon and hydrogen molecules mm-hmm. that's basically what it is those uh they're joined together and they form hydrocarbons that's what it is uh we always take a look and say you know well, just think of the actual outside form of stuff. But again, we got to get back into it, understand it. You know, there's science class stuff we got to talk about so so we know what's happening in Mm -hmm. our body, okay? Uh, So the simplest unit of fat would be uh, fatty acid, right? That's what it is. And then uh, there's chains. There's chains of these molecules. Like when we talked about the complex carbohydrates and the simple carbohydrates, there's going to be chains of... uh, for fat as well, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, there's an arrangement of these hydrocarbons and their interaction with each other. That's going to determine the type of fat, right? Uh, so basically, uh, there's two types of fat. There is saturated and there's unsaturated fat. I've heard of that. You, you've heard those I've things heard as the, well? I've heard those terms. Okay. So a good way to kind of know or rule of thumb to identify what a saturated fat is versus a unsaturated fat, mm-hmm. you're going to look at what that fat looks at at room temperature. Okay. Okay. So a saturated fat is going to be solid. Like butter. Butter, uh, things when it sits, you know, it's like, okay, that's, that's, that's what a saturated fat is going to be. Um, and then an unsaturated fat is going to be more like a liquid. All right. So you're going to look at your, your Veg- oils. Vegetable oils and things. Your okay. oils like that. Yep. Um, there are two types of unsaturated fats. There is mono and poly. And kind of how we talked about previously, uh, mono uh, saturated would be, sorry, mono unsaturated, that would be one. So there is uh, one carbon uh, that is unsaturated mm-hmm. in that chain. And then poly, there would be more than one. Multiple. Gotcha. Exactly. Um, and then let's get into the different types of of polyunsaturated fats. Okay. A lot of you have heard of these, omega-3s and omega-6s. Fish oils. 
there's that's one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But again, no, so those are the things that we hear and we know, but it's like what what exactly is that, right? So uh they're they're different because of that, that number it represents uh where the unsaturated carbons are in that chain. Mm-hmm. All right. So that just gives that the name. Um we talk about the Western diet all the time. And unfortunately, due to the Western diet and the choices that we make with the processed foods and things like that, um, the ratio of omega threes to omega six are way off on the average person. Um, basically, uh, most Americans are getting way more omega six than omega threes, mm-hmm. and that's throwing them all out of whack because there's uh, omega sixes are going to be in a lot of the the oils that we really don't want to consume a lot okay mm-hmm. and we'll kind of get into that a little bit later so uh but the difference uh there's studies that prove this that uh you know with omega-6s those are going to be pro-inflammatory and then omega-3s are going to be anti-inflammatory uh inflammation is great this is what you're needed it's needed it's a part of life so this is things that are in terms of healing your body so it's not like it's all bad mm, uh, i've only heard of inflammation in the negative context yeah, well, um, it helps your body in terms of uh, infection, injury. Mm. There's a reason why these things happen. So you swell up, and that's a form of protecting your body. That's right. right. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty good design. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever you believe in, Appreciate it, it you. got it got done right, <laughs> pretty well. It's pretty intricate. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so, again, we, we want to have balance, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, taking a look at uh, the Western diet again. Um. We didn't even have we didn't even have the technology to uh, produce a lot of these uh, omega six heavy oils that are doing damage to to our bodies. All right, we didn't even have that. So uh, right now, staying on the omega sixes uh, in terms of how it affects our body, the amount of omega six in our cell membranes uh, can be associated with heart disease. Mm. So just. If you're not having the right balance, what you consume is going to directly correlate to your health. So too much is bad? Is too much omega-6s can uh, increase the risk of heart disease? Yes, having the, the incorrect ratio. Okay. Yep. So looking at, uh, when we look at different types of fats, right? Uh, cooking oils. Cooking oils. What, what type of oils do you cook with? Or what oils did you used to cook with? There you go. I appreciate you. Thanks, Back for, thanks for understanding day. the change. Give us, give us a, a, a before and after. What did you used to cook with, and then what do you cook with now? So I used to cook with vegetable oil. Mm. Vegetable oil. Uh, I wanted to be fancy. It was a peanut oil. <laughs> When the fried that chicken fancy. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you peanut oil it up. But uh, okay. for the most part, it was vegetable peanut. Uh, rarely was it canola. Okay. If, that was a, if I couldn't find anything else, yeah, you would canola it up. But, yeah, those were the oils that I was using before. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah those those are some of the ones we kind of want to stay away from a little mm-hmm. bit. I know. And, and, <laughs> and so even if the food that you're eating, you know, people get so into the macronutrients and things like that. But again, we talk about the inflammation that comes with certain things. So mm-hmm. if you are using the canola oils and uh, the vegetable oils, and you're not putting the right stuff in your body, it's mutating your cell membranes. Mm. So understanding that, you know, you want to make better choices uh, with, uh, you know, olive oils, um, coconut oil. There's a lot of different things like that, but there's going to be a difference. So just making sure that you're making those choices so that you get the right ratio. You stole of, my thunder. Of, uh, I, mean, I use those things. That's now. what you're using now. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, the EVOOs. There you go. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And 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 not lots of it either. Just, yeah. Just need a little bit so it don't stick to the pan. Or yeah. just but again, for, it's, for flavor. It's a healthy fat though. Right. So it's it's not the only reason it would be uh, it would do harm to you is if you were going over. In terms of your uh, caloric surplus, mm-hmm. but again, this is something that's a healthy fat. You're going to have more omega uh, threes in there, so you just want it to be balanced. Right. Your body needs this, so right. it's it, don't think of it as bad. Right, and it, it, if you know, I, I've noticed that they sell those the healthier oils. It's probably a little more expensive, but then they sell them in the smaller jars. No, like the canola oils or the vegetable oils, you get those for two dollars and yeah. you know thirty two ounces. Yeah. But the 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 coconut oil or uh, olive oil or whatever, it's going to be a, sm- a smaller jar, 
probably gonna be a glass jar. It's probably gonna cost you, yeah. you know, three, four, three, four bucks. But it lasts a lot longer because you don't use as much for every, you know, meal or serving or whatever. But well, it depends on how you cook it. I wouldn't it say depends it lasts longer, but well, yeah, for you know. You're not you're not pouring it all into oh, a pot oops. to fry some chicken. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You yeah, know, you're what using mean? more amounts because if you're cooking that right. way to where you're frying chicken and all those other mm-hmm. things. Yeah, so we want to stay away from that. Soul food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another good spot to get some omega threes is going to be animal protein, animal sources. Uh, unless you are vegan, uh, vegetarian, or something like that. Pescatarian. No. Oh, because fish. There you go. Never Stay mind. with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so you want to use that for, for sources. So a lot of times when people make these rash decisions, what I would call an uneducated decision, like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to be a vegan, or I'm going to be a vegetarian because I just want to lose weight or I just want to, you know, I'm just hopping on the wave of something somebody else is doing. They're not realizing that they're going to possibly and more than likely create deficiencies in their in their diet. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be missing out on certain things that they need. And then the only way you can make up for that is supplementation. If you don't know what you're missing, how are you going to supplement for it? Right. So by having a well-balanced diet, you're going to be able to, again, make up for these things with a more uh, uh, intuitive way. Mm-hmm. I know if I have a lot of colors on my plate, I know if I do have a piece of protein, uh, lean protein, that I know that I'm getting everything that I need and I don't have to, quote, unquote, know it all. You know, because I know more than the average person, but if I just give you some general guidelines, you're kind of following them, and it works, right? Right. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stick to the path. Well, now the unfortunate thing is uh, a lot of the way a lot of animals are being fed, they're being fed with corn, they're being fed with... Um, Which is not a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> no, corn is not a vegetable. <laughs> but they're feeding corn and soy to these animals, and now... Uh, they're not having as much omega threes as they used to. So if you can get like grass fed, grass fed or something like that, then mm-hmm. you're more likely to get a healthier, uh, you know, piece of protein, uh, health from a healthier animal. Mm-hmm. But it's not it's not necessary. Like I, I hate when people kind of make the extreme of saying, you know, there's Taco Bell and then there's grass fed steak. Like you, no, you don't have. You can just still get a regular ground beef or something. Mm-hmm. You don't have to have that huge disparity in there. Right. Yep. Yeah, but fat fat in your diet is very important. So if you look at your, uh, you know, some of the macronutrients I've given you for mm-hmm. you to follow, so that you can uh, hit the hit the numbers, so that you can uh, lose the weight that you wanted to lose. Mm-hmm. Um, the percentage. About a quarter of my. Of my daily 20, intake. 25 to 30 percent of your calories mm-hmm. are coming from fat. Mm-hmm. So it's important. It's important. Uh, what happened in the early, I want to say 90s, maybe even late 90s, mm-hmm. early 2000s, even uh, the low fat craze. Low fat craze, low fat this, low fat that. And all you're doing is reading the front of the box. So you're saying, I don't want to be fat. Mm -hmm. (laughs) This box says low fat. Right. I need to eat this. Right. Not realizing that on the back, they're telling you what they've substituted. They, they, yeah, there might be less fat, but how are they going to make it uh, palatable? How are they going to make it so that you want to eat this? Sugar. Sugar. And that's exactly what happens. You look at any low fat uh, option, it's going to consume, or excuse me, it's going to have, it's going to have more sugar in that for you. So just you know, a lot of these other, uh, what are those things, like the the Weight Watchers meals and stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. like they, 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 they sell you low fat, low fat, but then you don't realize that you're consuming more sugar. And, you know, it, it's just not the way to go. So fat is not bad. Understanding that uh, fat is good for you. Yeah, so that is the trade-off. That is the trade-off. Less fat, and then you get more sugar and you have an excess amount of carbohydrates. Guess what happens? Gain yeah, weight? No. You, you, yeah, you get a, you have an excess amount of carbohydrates, excess calories, mm-hmm. and then that gets stored as fat. fat. Yep. Yeah. So let's look at the other part of fat. But before before that, that's true. Well, obviously you know it's true. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. <laughs> Wayne, what you just said was really factual information. All right, Millie. <laughs> Vanilla. But I uh. I remember back in in the 90s 
when my mother would buy these uh, cookies, fat free cookies, snack wells. Okay. And they were what uh, a name, snack well. <laughs> Listen, but again, mark marketer's dream. You know, if you're just gonna read the front of the package, we're gonna make it bright. We're gonna make it colorful. We're gonna make the keywords pop off to you, so it's like. This is the healthy thing you need to eat, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember eating these snack wells, and like these are these is fat frees, and you know these is, you, makes you want to eat more. Of makes it. you want to eat more. Guilt free. <laughs> no, guilt, guilt don't live here no more, <laughs> right? So I, I remember, I remember those, and I don't, I don't know if they still sell them, or I don't think they still sell those. They probably rebranded them some other type of way. Yeah, but I, I remember the the whole like fat free kind of craze that was going on where people just wanted, they didn't want to have the guilt, right? Yeah. Well, they wanted to enjoy the snack, but not not feel some type of way about it. Yeah. And that was, in, 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 and they also did that, what's the, uh, Spurlock, Martin Spurlock? Morgan. Morgan Spurlock. Yeah, yeah he Super did that. Supersize Me. Supersize Me yeah. with the Supersize Me, uh, no, um, the, oh, the, the second one. The, the second Holy one chicken. he did, the Holy, Holy chicken. chicken. Yeah. Yeah, where he kind of, you know, kind of was trying to show that the industry kind of took the guilt out of doing certain things with, with chicken by telling you it's free reign, it's this, this, that, and this yeah. third, and it just kind of made you uh, want it more. And so, yeah, that's 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 what marketing that's what marketing is is for, right? They want to appeal to those senses yeah, they, and those. The front of the the front of the package is going to tell lies. you what you want to hear. Mm. And then the back is going to be the truth. Right. So, you know, you'll see all types of crazy stuff. I mean, you probably see a, a, a bottle of water that says gluten-free. Mm. And it's like, did, did you really need to tell me that? Right. But then you want to, you compare it to the one next to it. You're like, ooh. This one is. Gluten-free man. water. I need this. Right. This one don't <laughs> say that, though. Exactly. Uh, so you do see that a lot. And you see a lot of these extra, uh, extra, uh, things on the labels mm-hmm. on the front these days really trying to tell you, you know, how natural, even though you might not even know the FDA regulations for something to be labeled as uh, all natural. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You don't even know. You just, right. you just see that and you say, all right, well, that's gotta be better. It's gotta be better. Yeah. But you know, but that is a big trade off. That is a big trade off though. The, the fat for sugar. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so what I was saying though, the excess calories from carbohydrates or any excess calories are going to be stored as body fat. Mm-hmm. So we're not just talking about fat uh, that you're consuming yourself, but in terms of uh, what happens is uh, fat is a lipid, right? And this is found in your blood. So basically your body is going to convert this uh, right away. And it's going to, if you don't use it right away, it's going to be converted into triglycerides. So then we're going to break it down again. What is that? Three glycerides. Yep, three glycerides. <laughs> but they, they, they <laughs> bond with uh, glycerol. Okay. And then that is what happens. The, the, now you have this now you have this uh, this fat cell, and that's what's being stored. And mm-hmm. basically, fat is just stored energy. So don't look at it as if you if you stop looking at things as good and bad, mm-hmm. then you can have one a more uh, emotionally healthy. A relationship with a lot of these terms, with a lot of just your, your general health and fitness goals. Mm-hmm. You can, and then also you just you can really understand it. But when you think of everything as good and bad, it, it just makes it hard to be uh, consistent. Right? Right. So in terms of uh, what happens is if, if you're, if you're, if you don't eat for a day, are you going to die? No. Okay, then. So if your body runs off of carbohydrates, which we talked about in that, in that carb episode, and you haven't ate for a day, so then your your uh, storage of, of carbohydrates is low, uh, glycogen. Where is your body? What is your body using for energy? Fat. Fat. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So your body is going to release uh, those hormones, release the triglycerides, and then your body is going to use that for energy. So really, that's why, like, if, you know, take yourself when you were 400 pounds mm-hmm. and take yourself today, if you were to be on a desert island, <laughs> your previous self would have lasted a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Basically, uh, Skipper would have been all right. Right, Gilligan, he he need to find <laughs> he need to find something Put to eat. Put some coconut yeah, oil for exactly coconut oil. Aha, aha, aha. So uh, 
Yeah. So understanding just what these things are is going to matter. Um, so uh, and there's probably a lot of people who are either uh, they're into keto, uh, which would be ketosis is a way to where you manipulate your body to use fat as a energy source. Mm hmm as a primary energy source right. versus carbohydrates because you're bo you're going to consume more fat and consume way minimal, minimal carbohydrates. Uh, that is a way of doing things. Uh, some people have been convinced that that's the only way you can lose weight or, you know, that's the real way you should be eating. And that's sometimes where things like fruit get villainized. Mm -hmm. um, but just understanding that, yes, naturally, your body is going to use fat as its second energy source. Mm -hmm. So... Once the carbs are gone, then the fat's time, it's time for the burn the fat. So that's why it's so important if you are in a caloric deficit and you have, uh, so you're, you're getting carbs for energy, but now your body is moving, right? Mm -hmm. So you are burning enough calories, you're burning enough carbohydrates. Now, when it's time for your body to move and use extra, what is your body using? Right. So now you are burning fat. Mm -hmm. So now you're, you know, you're exercising at 6 p.m. You've had your, you know, recommended amount of carbohydrates from your trainer or whatever you've done. And now your body is burning fat yeah. because that is what your body's using as energy. If you do not move <laughs> or you're not, you know, following macronutrients that are for you the best way, mm -hmm. then you get stored fat. It's that simple. Yeah. So uh, just think of... Uh, Anything around the midsection is stored energy. <laughs> you got a lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> I need to move or do something. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Oh, man. I guess I got to move and do something. You got to do something about mm. it. Yep. So some, some good sources of fat. So I'm going to say, you know, whoa, what, what type of fat should I eat? Where should I get my fat? All right. So we're going to say nuts, seeds. Um, avocados, olives, we mentioned olive oil, uh, eggs, egg yolks, excuse me. Um, and then also, like we mentioned, uh, animal protein as well. So for me personally, where I get the majority of my fat is going to be olive oil. So I'm cooking with, I do eat avocados. Um, it's going to be from animal protein, whether I have steak, chicken, fish, salmon, mm -hmm. uh, to where, um, what else? Some people, there, there are healthy cheeses out there. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge dairy person. Everybody's body reacts differently. Um, you do not want to eat processed cheese and, you know, kind of the cheap stuff, but, uh, and there's what I would call real cheese with, you know, real whole ingredients. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then, yeah, you can get, uh, some healthy fats from there as well. That's one thing I didn't know uh, when we when we were started the food logs, and I had some. I was like, I'm gonna eat healthy today. I'm a uh, I'm a brown rice. We're gonna make some vegetables, and I'm, we're gonna have some salmon in that. Yeah. Made the salmon, made all the food, and I plugged it in, and it said salmon was like, I think it was like fourteen. My salmon was like fourteen to fifteen percent fat, something like that. And I was like. The grams. Gram, grams yeah. of fat, right. And I was just like, what? I thought salmon was healthy. I think I texted you and I was like, <laughs> why there's so much fat in this salmon? Yeah. And he was like, it's, it's healthy fat. It's good fat. Yeah. You wasn't worried about the fat in the fried chicken last week. <laughs> but you, you worried sure about wasn't. this fat? You sure was And wasn't. I was like, ah, <laughs> stop having good points. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's one thing I, I, I didn't know. Because in my mind. Fat is bad. It, fat is bad. It was yeah. good for his bad. Yeah. And so salmon is supposed to be a good food for me. Yep. Why does it have these bad things in it? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you had, I had to be educated. There you, you go. Had to, and again, that's one thing. If you don't know what you're putting in your body, you don't know what you don't know. So why not educate yourself? Yep. Or just listen to the Stronger Inside podcast. <laughs> Message. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Uh, so uh, for me, those are, those are the sources um, there are times when if I'm if I am eating really clean, I just don't. I have to remind myself even even dark chocolate and things like that uh, are going to be healthy mm -hmm. uh, in moderation. So again, if you are in your within those uh, recommended macronutrient goals for you, mm -hmm. you're good to go. So uh, yeah, just 
eggs. I mix eggs and egg whites a lot of times um, and different stuff like that. So just th- those are my sources. That's that's where I get uh, the fat from. And then if I am not eating as healthy, then who knows? Because yeah. <laughs> it's coming from the other places, you mm-hmm. know? So it's just like that's why um, balance and everything is so important. Uh, like I use uh, chia seeds. Um, flaxseed and sh- uh, smoothie shakes mm-hmm. as well because again those are nuts so if people eat almonds peanuts and different things like that then you're good to go now the most important thing to understand about uh, fat is especially if you're snacking right mm-hmm. uh, you know peanut butters uh, almond butters and all those different things like that you can you can get a lot of calories quick and you have to monitor your your serving sizes. Right. Um, and w- the reason why is in terms of calories, right? So for every uh, gram of protein, there's four calories. Every gram of carbohydrate, there's four calories. Every gram of fat, nine calories. Mm. So mm. that's that's the difference right there. So if you eat a whole bag of almonds, you just need to understand that you might have eaten two-thirds of your day worth of fat. So you, sh- you need to say, you know, what what works best for me, right. give and take. Um, because, you know, something like peanut butter, I mean, if <laughs> you know, some people scoop it out the out the jar. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, you know, five spoonfuls later, you might have hit your daily recommended a uh, part of of a fat, right? So just understand, you know, what's important, and and looking at those uh, serving sizes, right? Yep, I th- I think so. What I recently started doing, one of the things that my little guilty pleasure snack now is a chocolate covered almonds. Okay. So I started with the milk chocolate, and I was like, oh, I can't do. This. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. It's too much going on. So I've transitioned to the dark chocolate. There you go. And I feel like as I progress down this journey, my palate has really progressed as well. Because mm-hmm. there were times where, you know, I would have a piece of that, you know, that special dark chocolate and it would just be too bitter. I, I can't eat this. It's, yeah. it's not sugary enough for me. Mm-hmm. Right? It didn't, didn't taste right. But now it's like right Right where it needs to be. Like the sugar content is right where it needs to be. It's all you, it's yeah. all I really need. And so, uh, but when, but what I do now is if I know I want to have that snack, I kind of, I try to build out my day. Yeah. Right. And so. Yeah, make uh, it fit. Right. I make it fit. So the mornings, I, in the mornings I wake up and have, do my breakfast thing, do my, my protein. And then by the time I want to have a snack, I'm like, cool, let me build out what I'm going to have for lunch and dinner, make sure I can fit these in, right? Mm-hmm. Because I want to have it, I want to enjoy it enough, but I, I also know that those other big meals are going to be coming, and I want to enjoy those too, and I want to, you know, make the make the most of my day. Yeah. And so uh, so I think that's probably where I, I get some of my fat from. So I get, my, I get fat from the chocolate-covered almonds, and then from my egg whites, I mean, excuse me, my egg yolks, mm-hmm. but I mix the whites in there also to add a little pop of protein. And, um, and like I said, the, the, I think the vegetable oils, um, and then the occasional vegetable oil, excuse me, <laughs> the, uh, the oils that I use, Correct. There you which go. would be, uh, like my, my olive oils and things like that. Yep. So, um, yeah, I, I, I try. So when I go back and I look at my numbers, most of the time, uh, my fats are lower by the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And so. That's when, that's a lot of times that's when I can, you know, maybe have, have something else, especially if I, if I have the calories for it, yeah. I can have, you know, have a, a treat, have a little sweet treat or something like that. Because yeah. that's one thing along this whole thing that it's hard for me is I have a, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I have a couple of sweet, sweet teeth. <laughs> sweet teeth. Yeah. I got sweet teeth. So, um, <laughs> you got a sweet grill. <laughs> listen, you got Paul. Wow. <laughs> no. So, um, yeah. So that's one thing that, that, that really, I think when I plateau, that's the one thing that I know is what's holding me back a little bit. Yeah. And, and that's, and I think that's beneficial because I know it. So I know how to, 
manipulated in, yeah. in, or or to change that behavior when I need to change that behavior. And so, um, but that's that's one of the things where I know I, I can get my fat from is you know some some of those uh, those sweets. Yeah. That I that I that I enjoy from yeah. time to time. There you go. Yeah. Um, we'll look at a couple of reasons why fat is important as well. Um, one, fat is going to help you stay uh, satiated. So you're going to feel fuller when you eat these things. So you do the healthy fats, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. But if you were, I mean, you got people basically trying these low calorie diets, right? Then they're low on protein. Mm-hmm. They're not building any muscle. They're probably not even weight training, strength training. They're probably doing some type of extended amount of cardio. Mm-hmm. Then they're low on carbs because carbs are bad, but they're still doing a bunch of cardio. Right. So now they, <laughs> you know, their body is 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 pretty much uh, d- doesn't have any fuel, right? And then they're like, well, fat is bad too. Mm-hmm. So now you're eating just low across the board, and you think you're going to be ripped. Right. You think your body is going to lose all the fat you know, maintain or build muscle. That's not how it works, right? Mm-mm. So just understanding that f- fat is going to be important because then you're not going to have those crazy cravings throughout the day. Because um, if I eat a uh, peanut butter, almond butter sandwich um, with whole grain bread, I feel good. I don't I don't feel lazy afterwards. I don't feel uh, lethargic. I, feel, I don't feel immediately hungry. Mm-hmm. I feel good. I have... Uh, the combination of the fat, the complex carb is going to keep me going right there. And sometimes I, then I will throw in like an apple or something with that. And that's a nice snack for me. Right. Um, I've covered, uh, you get protein that comes with um, the nut butters, whatever you're, you're eating as mm-hmm. well. So you're getting a little bit of everything. And now your body is being uh, fueled correctly. So uh, just understanding that if you're going super low fat, uh, you're missing out on what you need, especially for women. Um, that that is very important. You're going to need a little bit more fat, and that'll take me to the re- next reason is because uh, there's something called fat sol- soluble vitamins. So basically, your body needs fat to absorb these these vitamins. So like vitamin A, D, E, and K, mm-hmm. those are going to be uh, things that your body needs fat to properly absorb them. Mm. So if you are deficient, you can't even process, you can't even fully get the amount of minerals, these vitamins. So just understand that not having a deficiency is going to allow for you to be well-rounded and be healthier. Right. Just removing large chunks of uh, food groups out of your diet without knowing what you're doing is dangerous. Right. So that, that, is, that is something that happens. All right. So you mentioned saturated fats and unsaturated fats. Mm-hmm. But I've also heard a term called trans fats. Okay. What are those exactly? So trans fats, um, that that could be taken a little different these days. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We can go. Okay. But, you know, so trans fat. Seriously, though, folks. <laughs> trans fat is something you want to stay away from. Okay. You want to stay from. <laughs> what? I'm not fat phobic. I'm not transphobic. We're trans fat phobic. Trans fat phobic. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, man. So you, this is going to be, this is kind of a, a man made thing that you're going <laughs> to see. <laughs> so many correlations. <laughs> so many parallels. Oh, what is, what man. Is this going to make it to air? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it out there, and then we then I, you can decide. <laughs> so, when it comes to those processed foods, when it comes to those those things, that's where you're going to get a lot of trans fats. To where it's going to be uh, those what we call fake foods, those mm-hmm. things we don't want to eat. Does it come from a plant, or does it come? F- uh, was it <laughs> was it a plant, or did it come from a plant? Right, right? that's the phrase. Right, and sad, sad, sad person meals. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So th- those trans fats, you're not going to get trans fats in an apple. Mm. You're not going to get trans fats in spinach. Mm. So you go to, you know, your favorite fast food restaurant and get a number three, you're going to get trans fats. And these things are going to be uh, 
really cause inflammation and your body is not going to react the way that you want to. So, uh, yeah, trans fats are something that you want to look out for. They do list them on the back of the nutrition facts and things like that. Um, but yeah, we're talking about higher risk of a lot of different things that come with that. There's a lot of studies that go with those, uh, trans fats. So just again, um, you know, you don't have to become a doctor, but just keep an eye out and say, uh, if I'm eating something, oh, that has trans fats, I should look out for it. Mm -hmm. And if it does have that, then you're probably not eating something real. Mm. There you have it. There's no trans fats in the produce aisle. Real food. <laughs> no trans fats in the produce aisle. Nope. Yeah. There you have it. There you have it. Yeah, so, that, uh, you know, not to get too technical with the trans fats, but yeah. Okay. So that's a, so that's that's a, that's a third type of fat, but it's a man-made. It's, it's something that's made in a lab. You can, you're not going to find that in real food. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Um, so yeah, really, really understanding um, that macronutrient fat. Fat doesn't make you fat. Mm -hmm. uh, fat is going to be accompanied with animal protein. So you're getting protein, you're going to get fat, um, and then you're going to get a lot of times if you're eating, you know different stuff like peanut butter, things like that, then you're going to get carbohydrates with your fat. Mm -hmm. But just making sure that you're getting those good sources that we listed, uh, you're good to go. So don't be worried about, you know, what happens a lot of times is if you're using one of these fitness trackers or something like MyFitnessPal and it's going to alert you and say, you eat an avocado, it's going to alert you mm -hmm. and it's going to say, hey, that avocado is high in fat. That doesn't mean that it's not good for you. It's mm -hmm. just letting you know that, out of the three macronutrients that this is high. So maybe you ate this avocado today or half an avocado, then be understanding that, you know, if you're going to go cook with olive oil and then if you're going to have, you know, eggs and then you're going to have a bag of almonds, mm -hmm. you might've had too much healthy fat mm -hmm. even for the day. Right. So just, it gives those alerts so that you can learn. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just make sure that you're understanding that. And like you said before, when you had that salmon for the first time, it wasn't bad. Right. Yeah, you, we need that. We mm -hmm. need that because it was real. Yeah, real food. That, that, that salmon was in the in the water. It was alive at some point. At some point. And you yeah. ate it and got the nutrients from mm -hmm. it. It was probably like on a farm somewhere, like in those big pools. Yeah, you know, we'd have to. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where you got it from. Yeah. I wasn't there. Alaskan caught in, <laughs> in the farmer's backyard. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it was good. Yeah, it was cool. But yeah, awesome. Dope. Good episode. Good information. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got one more, the protein episode. Yes. That we'll have to come back with. The protein, that's that, that's that, that's that, yep. that good stuff right there. There you go. Uh, yeah, so carbs give us energy. Yes. Protein helps build muscle. Mm hmm And fat is going to be important because it's going to keep you satiated and then help you absorb certain vitamins and minerals. And then especially for women, you're going to need more fat for uh, just the other processes that their bodies go through that ours don't. As you can see, when it comes to body fat and holding on body fat, mm -hmm. their, their bodies hold on to body fat different. They do things like what? Birth children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, they need more body fat. So it would be really dangerous for a woman to go really low um, in terms of a uh, fat intake on in, in her in her diet so so even for men and women um your your fat intake is going to have a lot of impact on uh your mental health uh vision skin um mental health your your your, your way it's just you need you need fat to absorb those vitamins so that you can have it work for you right um you know what I'm so i was gonna ask you so you said fat is a a normally accompanies animal protein. Do you ever trim the fat off of your food? Like if you buy chicken breast and things like that, do you trim the fat or do you just cook it the way it is and it, it just renders off as you cook it? Or um, I do uh, if it's excess, if it's a lot, mm -hmm. uh, but not really. Mm -hmm. um, like for steak or anything like that, I, it's there. I eat it. Yeah. Um, you eat the fat. Like yeah. it was a big, oh. I mean, you need it. Yeah. And if I look at my day and I haven't really had any, how's that bad? Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, like you, right. I need it. I'm eating. I'm getting a good balance between omega threes, omega sixes, mm-hmm. and it's there. I'm not going to just cut it off and try to go with no fat. Right. So yeah, um, yeah. If there's excess or too much, then yeah, I get it. Cutting it off. But in terms of just kind of like, especially with like beef or something like that, right? Um, no, I don't. I try to get a leaner cut. Right. But if it's there, it's there, and you're going to eat it because you need it. There you go. Yeah. yeah, I, I like I said, I, I feel like I do the same thing. I for my chicken breast as I clean them, I, I would I will trim the fat if it's if it's in excess. But again, if uh, it's all it's not all going to be taken off, you know. And like I say it's going to cook and it's going to render out and yeah. be that way. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was just seeing what you do in the kitchen. Yeah, yep. Um, I think we're good. I think so. I think I think so, that was so. Make sure. If you haven't, you subscribe, push the like button. That's like all. It. It, it costs you nothing. Thumbs up the video. <laughs> and uh, leave a comment. Yeah. All these engagements and all the things that you guys uh, do, believe it or not, it helps uh, us pop up in searches. It helps us. We, we, we know a lot of the listeners are clients of mine, friends of family, mm-hmm. um, you know, coworkers. Right. So, you know, we have a, a smaller community right now, but we – kind of went on to the YouTube so that we can use this platform to reach out to strangers. Yeah. So that somebody can search and learn about carbs and fat who doesn't know us personally or in real life. And really the only way we can really expand and do that is, you know, having these engagements, um, you know, all the views we definitely uh, appreciate, but uh, you know, the likes and the comments and those things like that, uh, you know, those, those smart guys that, Google, who owns YouTube, you know, they have those algorithms there Mm -hmm. and they say, okay, well, people are talking about this. We should push this forward. Absolutely. Versus us kind of being stuck in the back. Mm -hmm. And and if you comment, we're going to, if you're asking questions, we're going to respond. We're going to, we like to engage. We want to engage with you. So please uh, comment, leave your comments. Uh, Watch us during the uh, premiere episodes if you can. Uh, And we'll be there watching with you all and, we can engage with you there uh, as well. We can talk about certain things as they come up in the episode. Yeah. And even share the link. Send send it to a friend. Um, send it to a friend. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. Thank okay. you guys for watching. Thank cool. you guys for listening. It's been another episode. We out. Thank you for listening to the Stronger Inside Podcast. If you're listening on Spotify, follow us. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, then subscribe. Make sure you stay connected with us via social media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Stronger Inside Podcast. Remember, every like, comment, and share spreads the message of health, fitness, and wellness. Overtime. Yeah. So, yep. big day coming up. You ready? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's love day, man. Cupid's coming out, you know, hearts and <laughs> all that good stuff. Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's consumer day. <laughs> are, you, are you big into Valentine's Day? Are you, are you big into, you know. Uh, I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> I don't like telling me to do stuff that I already do. Right. So show her you love her <laughs> this day. That's that's basically what they you know yeah. you, you see that do the thirteenth and the fifteenth. Yeah, I don't care what you do. The marketing. The fourteenth. That's when you do it. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. That's you. You get all the commercials, mm-hmm. all this, and it's that you, fact. It's you that. notice you just said you show her. So what are you expecting? <laughs> The same the love? <laughs> the same love? The love that you got the, the other 364? Uh, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. But you're not expecting like... 365 on a leap year. Like an extra love. <laughs> you, you, you're not expecting like a, a huge... Uh, Bouquet of flowers. Financial and... or a gesture oh. to, that, sh- that kind of... Uh, what was the word? Uh, symbolizes your love. I, I live... I live in this in this box, and the name of the box is called expectations are premeditated disappointments. Okay, so I don't expect anything oh, wow. from many people, especially gifts on 
on on the, man-made holidays. Our expectations. Well, I guess all man, all holidays are man-made. You, I guess. Our expectations on me. Yeah, I think you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to you, uh, uh, and your voice went up. <laughs> our expectations on me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think there is. So the way my relationship is set up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I asked this question like three minutes ago, right? <laughs> The way my relationship is set up that is that there is a level of uh, a level of expectation for that day for my wife. Could say yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, is it follow? No, I was just I'm just okay. asking. <laughs> I'm just asking. That's that kind of yes. That. But but here's the thing. I don't mind it. I yeah, it's your job. Not a job. <laughs> it's not a job. I don't oh, get paid. Is. I don't get paid for it. I don't <laughs> earn anything for it. I guess I'm I'm banking some equity. I guess I'm getting you know. I'm just saying yeah. it's a, it's an expectation. There, there there is there is an expectation that you know. Yeah. She was so so the day mm-hmm. is a little lopsided in expectation. It's very much so lopsided. Okay. But yeah. you but you don't mind that. I don't. Okay. I don't. Well that's fair. Right. Because you know why I don't mind it? Why? I don't mind it because I enjoy seeing her happy. So is is the day about love or is the day about women? It's about love for women. <laughs> <laughs> Not not love for men. Not it. So, women women can get men gifts as well. And I'm I, aware, I'm, and I'm sure, <laughs> and, and I'm sure, and I'm sure many of our listeners, and you have received a Valentine's gift in the past. Yeah, on several occasions, I'm sure. I'm just I'm just saying. Right, and so and I'm not saying you asked for a gift, and yeah. if you did not receive a gift, you would not have been upset, or would you have been? No, I just. No, no, I asked the question about three minutes ago. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. So there you go. So here's so That's, that wasn't my answer. Oh, okay, you said no. My, what I'm saying is, I like to live in this box, right? <laughs> this box of two way streets. Uh huh. So if you are going to tell me that this day is about this, then let's make it about that. Okay. If you're going to tell me this day, like. I'm not going to go to your birthday party Mm -hmm. and expect a present Ah. because I know it's your birthday. There you go. I don't want to go into a day where it's, where I'm told it's both of our birthdays Mm -hmm. and I show up with a present and you get a thank you in return. (laughs) And there's no, exactly. (laughs) And I think that may be where uh, Valentine's day and it's not for everybody, right? but I just think that you know that's that's something that has been. You've been dealing with the wrong women, Wayne. That's, that's, I didn't say that. I'm talking about <laughs> that's the comment section. I'm talking about <laughs> the general consensus of what I see via social media, what I see, you know, TV shows, what I see from other people's experiences that tell me that you know. Don't point at me when you say other people's. Other, Baby, I didn't say nothing <laughs> to Wayne about no experience. You just did. Nothing. You just said you. But, I mean, you have an expectation to give. Uh huh. And you enjoy doing it, which is I cool. Do, I do cool. enjoy doing it. So, I think that's I, one of her love languages is, you know, uh, receiving gifts. Oh, okay. And so, okay, uh, cool. yeah. do you know what you know what your love languages are? Or do you have any? Or have you ever read the book? Uh, English. Your love language <laughs> is English. Yeah. Old just, English or? Just, just talk. <laughs> so communication. <laughs> communication. Communication. Well, words of affirmation. I'm pretty sure you like words of affirmation. Fair enough. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, leave some in the comment section. Hey, <laughs> transition. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy your day of giving. <laughs> <laughs> and all the fellas out there yes. who are, you know, have an expectation that they must give. Mm-hmm. And whatever you receive in return, I hope it makes you happy. Happy Valentine's Day <laughs> to all the stronger outside. Stronger outside. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut that. You'll be stronger outside <laughs> if you don't get them gifts. That's what's coming. Happy Valentine's Day to all our stronger inside insiders. Oh, yeah. man. Don't all eat right. too much of that chocolate <laughs> in moderation. Save some for the 15th.